Round them up. It's going to be for sale. 1967, 1969 Pontiac Firebird. This search is going to come from one of our subscribers. And like this subscriber, there's a classic car you're looking for. It's free and easy to do. Just subscribe to the channel below and drop in the comments down there below the make and model you're looking for, and I'll round them up for you. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody. This has been a long day, so it's been about six hours we're going on now. Pushing six hours of straight rounding them ups. You got to dig that. So it's been our Thanksgiving Day Marathon. If you're new to the channel, this one right here is not the only car for sale. This is the one I would go check out if I was looking to buy 67 to 69 Pontiac Firebird. So with that said, let's check out our search. It's going to be Craigslist Facebook Marketplace. I don't own any of these cars. I don't set the prices. I've just simply put them in price order from lowest to highest. I don't get any commissions and I don't charge finder fees. The way to pay to the channel is just hit that big thumbs up down there underneath the video. We'd appreciate that. So I know I have said a bunch of Camaro. We do the Camaros before too quite a few times. Three years going around them up. So we've done 67 to 69 Camaros quite a few times. And I've said like every time we do that search, this is the way to buy a Camaro. So if you don't care about the title and don't have to be a true Camaro, this is the way to buy one. Because you can't find Camaros for the prices we found some of these Pontiac Firebirds. And they're not that hard to swap over. So I'm surprised we don't see a lot more Camaros that have been cloned from a Firebird. But that's the way I'd do it if you had to have a Camaro. But I myself, I dig these 67 to 69 Firebirds. So let's see what we found. First one's going to be in Oklahoma. It's going to be on Facebook Marketplace. Punch in 1967 Pontiac Firebird. It'll pop up. It's been out here for two weeks. He's asking two grand. There is no description on his car at all. So I guess just go by what you see in the pictures. Picture shows it's got some rotted out floors that have already been all cut out. It's got no glass in the back. No interior. Looks pretty rough. So you just have to reach out and try to contact him. It's only been on here for a week. If it's your area, two grand, that's cheap. You ain't going to find a Camaro like that for two grand. On to another one. It's going to be a 1969 Pontiac Trans Am. It's going to be Trans Am's, how they got it listed. $2,700. Listed seven weeks ago, Texas. So is it really a Trans Am? I doubt it. It says 69 Firebird Project Roller. Comes with a bill of sale, so you're getting no title here. So it is something you want to get. If you're going to get one of these, you want to get a title. That way, like you said, you can clone it out to be a Camaro if you want it. Just a matter of changing up some body panels. On to another one. That's cheap. Bill of sale again. You want to build a race car? There you go. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe right here. It's going to be 2D for two door. 3,500 bucks. Listed three weeks ago, Kentucky. I myself, I'd probably want a 69 or a 67. I like 67s the best because they got the wing window. Camaros and Firebirds. I've always liked the 67s the most. But that's me. I like the round marker lights in the Camaros. Firebird 67s are pretty cool too, and I believe that's what my pick of the day is today. So, 3500 bucks, Kentucky, three weeks it's been on here. It's got a routed out trunk in it. it. Does have a clear title in his name, so that's what you need, a title, right? 3500 bucks. check him out, three weeks, on to another one. That's how long it's been posted. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe here, 2D. That's how you'd want to type it in, Washington area, four grand for this one. It's a 69 Pontiac Firebird project car, no title. So I want to build a race car. I want to try to do the Vermont thing and try to get a title. It does have interior in it. I dig that. I say it a lot of times in the videos that if you're going to build a, build a car, first time you built a car, always find one that's together. So you got to dig that the bucket seats, the console, no engine, but you can live with that. It's rusty, no title. On to another one. 1969 Pontiac Firebird. It's gonna be four grand here. Listed 16 weeks ago. I mean Massachusetts. It says it runs off of ether. Got some rotted out floors in it. Still got the dash in it. Some cool rallies on it. Complete car needs total restoration. If it's up, it's available. Doesn't say nothing about a title though. On to another one. It's gonna be our first Craigslist ad. It's going to be in Youngstown, 1968 Pontiac Firebird 400. Needs full restoration or trade with question marks. That's how you punch it in, looking it up. 4500 bucks. Been on here for four days. Got some pretty cool keystones on it. With spinners on that one side, it looked like. Maybe not. 
Just a nice set of keystones. Does have seats in it. Don't look like a bad car. It's got some rust in the quarters. Again, wanted to build a 68 Camaro. There you go. 4500 bucks, Clean title. Check them out. It needs full restoration anyway. On to another one. We're at $4,500 still. 67 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. It's going to be in Washington two weeks ago. Glass has been pulled out. The dash was still in it. Looks like he had a bunch of photos of it, but he didn't crop this down or nothing, and they're just bad photos. Can't see much. Can't see in the description. First thing he says is clear title. you got to dig that. So one, one with the title. There's one right there, 4,500 bucks. On to another one. You gotta love these prices, because we surely don't see Camaros like this for 4,500. Something like this right here, 67 Firebird convertible, 4,500 bucks. This 67 was a Camaro, and they want 50, 60 thousand for rusted out junk like this. And this one's got floors in it. I ain't even playing. They want 20 thousand for this if it was Camaro. Looks like it already had Camaro taillight pan put in it. 67 Pontiac Firebird control, convertible roller. Have the top frame. Title needs good title. Needs floors. No motor, no transmission. Have front bumper and parts. No trades. Yeah, you can't get there quick enough to grab that. You want to build a 67 Camaro convertible or even a Firebird convertible. I love the flares they put on the quarter panels of this thing. But again, you can be chopping it up and redoing it anyway. Grab yourself a Camaro catalog, Firebird catalog. I don't know. It probably cost you a fortune to buy Firebird parts. Can't see. It does have a Camaro sitting here and a Nova, maybe. They got a whole bunch of stuff. Another Nova. Looks like a Camaro again or another Firebird. So they got a whole backyard full of them. A couple Chevelles. Jackie Mount, Arkansas. On to another one. It's going to be a 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe TD 2D for two door, five grand. Listed three weeks ago. Got some decent floors been put in it already. The trunk looked clean. It's got some AMD parts. It's got the glass for it. Man, it looks like a great car. You sure ain't going to find a Camaro shell like that. 69 Firebird's what you're looking for. Washington, check it out. Five grand. That's another one of those deals, man. If that was a Camaro, you couldn't get there fast enough. This has a clean, clear title. Check it out. That's a cool car. Five grand. You don't mind building your own project? You've built a couple of these before. You know what's what and how to build it? Boom. On to another one. That's a great deal. 1969 Pontiac Firebird here. Five grand. Listed four weeks ago, South Carolina. But again, I've built cars my whole life. So, got a 400 engine in this one so you got to dig that 69 firebird all the parts are there restoration started 400 motor fresh runs great turbo 400 trans car needs restored another great deal that's better than the last deal probably five grand south carolina four weeks it's been on here on to another one you gotta love the prices we're seeing on these eastern connecticut firebird 1967 convertible project you know the closer we get to christmas New Year's. We're going to see a lot of great deals here on Rounding Them Up. So I've done a lot of searches tonight, today, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving again, everybody. This convertible looks like we're saving too, man. Fifty-two fifty for that. This might be our last search tonight. I don't know. We're going over six hours or something already. So I have been trying to move along quick, especially on the ones where we find a lot of cars, keeping them to under a half hour episode. But I think we've done like... 14 subscribers request today. It's going to be San Francisco Bay Area. 1966 Mustang. 67. 1974 Trans Am. Firebird. Well, you can see that's a 67 Firebird convertible he's got right there. So I don't know what the price is. It looks like he's got a whole bunch of stuff for sale. Check him out. San Francisco Bay Area. On to another one. This will be a 69 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. 2D for two door. Seven grand. That's what he's asking for this one. Been on here 16 weeks. It's going to be Kentucky. Four lures are rotted out in it. It's all ripped apart. All the interior is ripped out of it anyway. It does have the interior. Didn't look that great. Another front clip laying there. Core support and front end on it. So it's like you're getting some extra parts. Seven grand. 
big deal would be the title. Don't see anything about it. Have to just contact him. Kentucky on to another one. Baltimore here. Going to be on Craigslist. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Convertible. $7,400. Yep. For a convertible. 69 Imagine if that was a 69 Camaro, the sticker that would be on that car. 7500 7400 I don't think you can beat that deal. Looking for a convertible 69 That's what my buddy's dad bought. I'm going to be restoring and maybe painting soon. And his is the Hugger Orange. So you got to dig that. On to another one. It's going to be a 1967 Pontiac Firebird. It's going to be the same guy who just had that listed with a bunch of other cars. So this time it's listed by itself. With a lot of good photos. Man, it looks like a nice shell right there. Yep, it's a rag top. Four days ago, $74.99. That's the price. Check it out. Looking for a convertible. And you're not going to beat that price. Does need a windshield. On to another one. We have the seven grand. 1969. Pontiac Firebird. Seven grand, Texas. Listed a week ago. You've seen it. Looks like this one might actually run and drive. Back to that video one more time. Yep. Definitely runs and drives. Seven grand. Gotta dig it. Let me know and you can find a 69 Camaro for seven grand and runs and drives. Real dog, but it is running and driving. On to another one. Got a video still playing. I remember to stop those. Pretty neat how people could run videos now. On to another one. It's going to be El Paso 1967 Pontiac Firebird convertible again. So we've seen quite a few convertibles right here. This one did have some rotted out floors in it. You definitely see the ground through the through the top right here. But floor pans aren't that hard to fix. Could be 7500 bucks. Six days ago, selling 67 Firebird convertible. Title status is missing. On to another one. It's going to be Long Island, 1968. Project Firebird, Firebird. Yep, 7500 bucks two weeks ago. Looks like they're building themselves a race car. I'm one hell of an engine that's been sitting out in the weather right there. So it says the 455 cubic inch 400 turbo trans with the stick. Yep, manual training in it. 7,500 bucks. Yeah, it looks like automatic to me. Well, check him out. Look for a drag car, pretty cheap. $7,500 with the engine in it. On to another one. Looked like a hell of an engine in it, man. 1968 Pontiac Firebirds. Been sitting out in the rain, no less. It's going to be 7500 bucks again. Listed two weeks ago. Maryland. Got some aluminum slots on it. I dig it. I don't really care for the painted bumpers, but I guess they're better than rusty ones. Got a fuel cell chopped through the trunk. Got a junk shifter in it. All kinds of leaves laying all over it, man. Looks like it's been sitting outside in a barn or somewhere outside for a while. Looks like it might have just got rinsed off in that picture right there. Two weeks ago, Maryland. Check him out. Clean title. No motor. It's a project car. Turbo 400 trans with it. On to another one. Going to be an Imperial. 1969 Firebird Roller. Eight grand. Yep, that's going to be right on the border. So we're going to be down there by San Diego. Yeah, tail lights are ripped out. Somebody painted it yellow, took the inner fenders out. Looks like it might have been being raced. Got a nice truck for sale. I think that's one of our searches. We got some F 150s for Got a roundup. On to another one. It's going to be a 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D for two door. Eight grand we're up to now. Listed a week ago, New Jersey. Got the hood ripped off of it. Got some real nice interior seats done up for it. Yep. Don't look like too bad of a deal to me. 350 automatic runs. But still a project. Needs restored. Has been started. 
No trades, no scams. New Jersey, doesn't say nothing about a title. On to another one. It's going to be Los Angeles, 1969 Pontiac Firebird. We're up to 8500 bucks. Yep, there's your overhead cam in this one. It's got the single overhead cam. In line six, 69 Pontiac Firebird. Clean title in California, rust free. Yeah, I'm digging this one a lot, man. What a cool car. Probably got a manual in it. And it didn't say, did it? It's got an automatic in it. Cool car. Check him out. Los Angeles, California. 8500 for that one. On to another one. Still in Los Angeles. 1968 Pontiac Firebird. Again, 8500 bucks. Got a V8 in that one. Looks like a 350. And that's what it is. 350 engine trans. Comes with the original California title. On to another one. It's going to be Los Angeles again. 8500 bucks. believe this is the same car. It is. So there's a double I missed. On to another one. It'll be 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. 2D for two door. Nine grand on this one. It's a nice looking car. Nine grand. 69 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. That's what you're looking for. Check him out. Looks like a pretty decent car. Clean title. Project car. Not run. That's what it says. 350 V8. 350 transmission. On to another one. Going to be San Francisco Bay Area here. 1969 Pontiac Firebird. 9500 So it's a little inflated on the price for being such a project. But it is in San Francisco Bay Area. Check him out. That's what you're looking for is a Firebird. Boom. There's one right there. Been on here five days. On to another one. It's going to be the same car. 9500 bucks. Says California that time. So that's it on both platforms, no less. On to another one. Be a 1968 Pontiac Firebird. 9500 bucks. Listed a week ago. Los Angeles, California. That's one we just showed a minute ago. So I've just showed like three cars that were duplicates over and over and over again. So it happens. My bad. Check out the size wheels in the back of this one. So we ain't showed this one yet. 1968 Pontiac Firebird Coupe, 2D, 10 grand, two, two weeks ago, PA. No engine, no trans, got a fuel cell in it. I don't know about that green color that was painted on the inside, but I'm digging the wheels on this car. Nice set of wheels. Car is complete, less motor and trans. So I guess that means you're getting the wheels. So he's open to trades, let him know what you got. It's like they was running around a bottle too. On to another one. It's going to be in Dallas, 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe, 11 grand. It's posted 28 days ago. So we got a train coming through. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody again, man. Hope you all having a good day. And thanks for tuning in. You know, hit the big thumbs up. We always appreciate it. You can hit that big thumbs up underneath the video. We're rounding up cars for sale for people. On to another one. We're about halfway through this episode. You got to dig the price. We're at eleven grand. It's 1969 Pontiac Firebird, California. 17000 And like the wheels. It's got a roll cage in it. And eleven grand. Motivated seller. Text or call. Got his phone number on it. On to another one. It's going to be in reading. It's going to be California 69 Firebird 350 AC car. Yep, eleven grand. I'd be shocked if it still got the AC stuff on it. That car looks pretty good. What about that Reese hitch on the back? Console, buckets, automatic. Got most of the interior in it. I'm digging it. Nice looking car. 11 grand on that. On to another one. That's a deal, right? 11 days it's been on here. On to another one. It's going to be Rhode Island, 1969 Pontiac Firebird, 12 grand. Posted 18 days ago. Got a vinyl top that's peeling really bad all over on it, but got the console, got some bucket seats, and it's got some holes in the front floors. Showing you it's got some seat belts in it still. I don't know. They didn't look any good, but there's your engine. She looks rusty. It's pretty toasty, right? So it hasn't been freshened up with a new can of uh, engine rebuild paint, but it's in there. Heater box is in there. Power brakes, power steering. On to another one. It's going to be Seattle. 1968 Pontiac Firebird. 
We're at 12.5 now, listed five days ago. It's like this might have been a nice car that was pulled apart right there. You got to dig the American Racing Wheels. Yep, nice looking car. 12.5, five, five days ago. Check him out. Looks like he just got new floors put in it. He's got clean title in hand. Seattle area. On to another one. It's going to be a 69 Pontiac Firebird for 13000 Might want to just go check this out. If anything, you'll get a brand new set of trailer rims and tires. 1969 Pontiac Firebird, 13000 two weeks ago. Only one picture, man. We're just going to go right on, on to another one. 1967 Pontiac Firebird, 13.5. Even looks like a Camaro with those rally wheels on there. So you see it. They painted it yellow. Looking for a yellow one with a really nice air cleaner. We got it. It's right here. It's actually got it on there backwards. And again, it don't have the filter in there, so it's not like it can catch on fire. It's actually not doing nothing at all. On to another one. It's going to be Norfolk, 1967 Pontiac Firebird, 15,000, listed nine days ago. This car looks great. Convertible, had a luggage rack on a trunk. Yep, born with a factory AC, one of only 500 made. It's got the 326 and two-speed power glide transmission. This is a nice car. For a nice 67 convertible, boom. Got the mixed match wheels all the way around it. Got a Chevy Rally on the front there. Hubcap on the back. Check him out. Cool car, 15000 That's the price. On to another one. Should be in Tallahassee. Craigslist, 1968. Pontiac Firebird, 15000 16 days ago. Got a set of Pontiac Rallies on it. Looks pretty good. I don't know about the shaker hood on there. That's me. I said they just cut it out and threw a trans amp scoop in the hood. On to another one. Give me a 69 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D. 15,000 Texas. You got to dig the Kragers, the Hugger Orange Paint. Yep, still needs to put back together, it looks like. Didn't paint the jams either. So jams are still black. 15,000. It's like somebody trying to get paid, right? Does have a clear blue title. So you got to dig that. It does have a Camaro sitting right there. On to another one. It's going to be in Chicago. 1967 Pontiac Firebird. We're now up to 16,000. We're going to start seeing some really nice cars already before 20 grand, which is kind of comical because you can't even find a Camaro for 20 grand. It runs and drives more than likely. So, again, we'll probably have to do Camaros again soon. It's going to be holiday times. We're going to find better deals on some stuff. This is Los Angeles here, 1968 Pontiac. Convertible 350 auto. Nice project car. It says 16.5. Yep, 16.5 for what's probably a running and driving convertible. Again, try to do that on a Camaro. Try to find a 68 convertible Camaro running and driving. And they're the same car. There's really not no difference, just some body panels. So, 68 Firebird Convertible. Check it out if that's what you're looking for. Los Angeles area. I don't know about those Trans Am wheels. I don't care for those Trans Am wheels even on the Trans Am. So, I definitely don't like them on this. But that's me. If you dig those wheels and dig one in a convertible, Los Angeles area. 16,000, 16,500. You're probably driving that home. So, 30 days. He hasn't been able to sell it. He did update the ad 11 days ago. So, it'll be on here for quite a while yet. On to another one. 1968 Pontiac Firebird, 17,000, going to be in Utah. So inside a garage, you got to dig that. Car looks actually pretty clean. Like it had a 350 engine in there. I bought the gold bucket seats. Probably would have bought me some black vinyl paint. At least vinyl painted the seats real good before I stuck them in there. But that's me. Not a bad looking car. 17,000 for this came from california was a daily driver until six years ago minimal rust for its age no trades cash only on to another one los angeles here 1967 pontiac firebird 6.0 ls swap 4180 450 500 horse that's what it says 18,000. again los angeles there's your big monster underneath the hood so he's wanting to do an LS 6 liter swap. Boom. Engine's already in it. Yep. 18,000. 
not painted yet. Don't have a dash in it yet. Need some quarter panels on it. I don't know, man. It's a nice drivetrain, but a lot of work right there. We're giving 18000 We picked out some nice cars today. It was picks of the day that I don't usually spend that kind of money on, but like example be that nineteen thousand dollar trans am for the last episode man we're talking only another grand you can have it this is going to be in phoenix 1967 pontiac firebird 400 numbers matching eighteen thousand you know eighteen thousand for this car it's got a smashed up quarter panel on it still had the air conditioning on it had some rust around the roof automatic i don't know that damage on there, I don't know if that's 18000 or not. You tell me. This is a nice looking car. On to another one. Sacramento here, 68 Firebird, 18000 I'd definitely have, rather have the last one. But that's me. That's your area. Check him out. Sacramento. On to another one. It's going to be in Nashville here, 1968 Pontiac Firebird. Wants well, 18000 for this one. Got some black steel wheels on it, bucket seats, console, floor shift, automatic. Well, it's all together. You got to dig that. It's eighteen thousand, and it does have a clean title. Got a nice printout on it. He updated the ad fifteen days ago onto another one. This car is absolutely beautiful. So, nineteen sixty nine Pontiac Firebird Coupe two door, eighteen thousand Texas. I love the wheels. I dig the brown paint. It's kind of like Tesla Speed Shop, man. It looks like your car, kind of, right? That's a nice one. I'm digging it. Might have been a stick shift, too, was it? It was manual shift. So, coolest car so far. 18,000 right there. 69. For sale. 69 Pontiac Firebird. 350 four speed manual trans. Got a nice printout on it. Check him out. Looking to buy a nice 69 Texas. That's the way to head. It's been on here four days. Nice car. On to another one. So it's going to be San Diego here. 1967 Pontiac Firebird. 21.5. That's 28 days ago. It's a pretty nice looking car too. So we're going to see that we're going to some really nice cars here. Right at $20,000. Man, you can buy a nice one instead of building one. On to another one. It's going to be a drag car, 1969 Pontiac Firebird, 22,000 listed five days ago, Wisconsin. Yeah, big tire drag car. That thing looks pretty sick. 22,000. Yep. Check that out. 427 big block Chevy in it. On to another one. It's going to be in Salem, Craigslist, 67, 1967 Firebird, 22,000 for this one. I think we've seen better deals on convertibles already. But that's my opinion. This is your area. Check it out. It's going to be Salem, Oregon. <laughs> on to another one. That's your area, man. You're pretty lucky. It's a lot of cheap cars out that way in Oregon. Washington State. 1969 Pontiac Firebird. 24000 here. Yeah, if you could bring a lot of those cars from that West Coast back to this East Coast, you could make a lot of money. Listed two weeks ago, Chicago, Illinois area. Got some nice interior, beautiful car. Twenty-four thousand is the asking price. It's got a four hundred with a four hundred turbo tranny in it. On to another one. This was a pretty good search. We found a lot of these cars, a lot of these out there for sale. So this is going to be on Craigslist, nineteen sixty-eight Pontiac Firebird, twenty-four nine for this one. Got some nice Craigers on it. I'm digging it, man. It looks good with the traction bars. I'm digging it. Cool stance. Nice paint. Nice car. 24.9. 68 Firebird. You're cruising the car shows with that. Check it out. That's what you're looking for. 11 days it's been on here. Maine. On to another one. Another drag car. This is going to be in Reno, 1967. Pontiac Firebird drag car estate sale. Was $25,000 for this car. Yeah, that looks like it's definitely built to go fast. So looking for a go fast 67 Firebird drag car. Boom, we found one with an enclosed trailer. So if it's coming with the trailer, I'd say that's an awesome deal. It's got a nice print out there. It's been updated just two days ago. It's on here. Check it out. Looking for a drag car. Found a nice one right there. On to another one. 
It's going to be Rochester, New York. Pontiac Firebird. Big block Chevy 427 again in this one. So right on with all these Pontiac guys taking up the big 427 big blocks and throwing them in their cars. Way to go. You might as well. We've already seen a bunch of Chevys with big block 400s in them. So. Yeah, I don't like the scoop myself, but that's me. I don't really care for the paint either, but something you're digging Rochester New York big block Chevy 25,000 on to another one it's gonna be a Ford 1967 Pontiac Firebird for 27.5 I like the red line tires yep the caps the rod that's the I just dig it nice wheels that has a great look to it beautiful looking car he wants 27.5 for that I don't know about the chin spoiler but other than that chin spoiler man that's a beautiful car even the seats. Let's take the headrests off. I could live with the seats. On to another one. It's going to be a 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe. 2D for two door. 27,995. It's red. Some really nice wheels. Black vinyl top. I love the black vinyl top. Red paint. The rest of me resale red. Four speed. Yeah, beautiful car. 27,995. Yeah, that's what you're looking for, man. You gotta go check that out. Beautiful car. On to another one. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D. 28,000 for this. Dayton, Ohio, posted six hours ago. So this one just went online. Only four pictures. None of the interior. Nothing under the hood. It says great car runs and drives. Open to trades with cash is king. On to another one. That's what the description was. 1968 Pontiac Firebird. 28.5 for this one. Another convertible. See a lot of convertibles on here. So this is an original, very highly optioned, numbered matching car. 400 with a 400 tranny. Runs great. Has a new top. Top looks like it's sagging real bad. The back window's not in it. Got the hubcaps on it. I like the silver one he's got. But it is what it is. It's convertible. Top looks good right there. The back window in. So you can see the top's completely fitted right there apparently. Missouri two weeks ago. Check him out. Looking for a 68 Pontiac Firebird convertible. There's one for under 30. And 30 was the cutoff. We stopped looking these up at 30,000. So San Diego here. Craigslist 1968 Pontiac Firebird 28.9. This car is beautiful. So we've seen some really nice ones here at the end of the episode. Check it out. That's your area, San Diego. On to another one. It was updated 16 days ago on that ad. Another Craigslist, Los Angeles, 67 Pontiac Firebird Convertible, 29000 So again, we did see a lot of convertibles on here. Looked like that car might have been wet in some of the photos. So don't let that shine fool you. On to another one. Again, we're going to be at 29,950 this time. 68 Pontiac Firebird 400, South Florida. Only one photo, so beware of scam ad on that one. On to another one. It's Inland, Inland Empire. 68 Firebird 400, 30,000. So we've met our limit. $30,000. This car is beautiful. I love the green interior. The light green mint paint. That's awesome. See foam green. Steering wheel is a little too dark a green, but you know what? I love that it's an original style steering wheel. Awesome car, thirty thousand. On to another one. It's another one for thirty thousand. So this is going to be on Facebook Marketplace, nineteen sixty-seven Pontiac Firebird. This is seven weeks ago, Tennessee. Beautiful looking car. It's like a burnt orange. Yeah, that's gorgeous. 30000 Got a shot of it before they put the interior back in to show you it's got solid floors in it. On to another one. We actually did go over 30000 a little bit. Check this one out. It's going to be Seattle. 1969 Pontiac Firebird Hearst TA 455 cubic inch. 33000 for this. I did include this one. Look how nice this car is. So after looking at this, I'm not sure why you'd have to go any higher. Got the attack on the hood, beautiful interior, beautiful paint, absolutely beautiful car. 
with the air conditioning. Yep, 33,000. So with that being said, this was a really cool search. Compared to when we do Camaros, man, we don't see nothing like what we've seen on here. So you got to appreciate Pontiac Firebirds. I myself, i just leave it a Firebird if I went and got one, especially if I went and got this one. And no more I think about it, I wouldn't mind going and getting this pick of the day. So this 1967 Pontiac Firebird Coupe 2D is my pick of the day. So the pick of the day goes to Nebraska. It's been listed for two, two days. That's how long this car has been online. 1967 Pontiac Firebird got the 326 engine motor and transmission removed from the car engines taken apart down to the block all engine parts are included interior is removed from the car all the interior parts are included car is complete ready to be restored and put back together clean title 5500 cash only I don't think you can get the trailer loaded up get this guy on the phone and over there fast enough this thing is a steal so for 5500 bucks, does have some tail pan damage right there. It's probably got a bent up back bumper. Man, that's the one I would go grab. $5,500 for that. Yep. Yeah, that's an awesome deal right there. Two days it's been on here. So if it's something you want to grab, get on it. I'm not sure we're going to have any more rounding them up. So this was going to be the last one here for the Thanksgiving Day Marathon. I want to appreciate, say I appreciate everybody that tuned in. Everybody hit the thumbs up today. Everybody was on a premiere and said something. Thanks to all you guys. Hope you've all had a great, happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you tear up those seconds, right? So that's what I'm about to do is tear it up. I'm about to eat, guys. So I don't know if we'll be back with any more tonight or not. We might be. I know in the meantime of us doing 14 subscribers requests on this episode right here, we've gotten seven more requests since then, so... It's kind of like a never going to catch up ending battle, but it's a good thing because we're never going to run out of content here. So don't be afraid to subscribe and drop in the comments what it is you're looking for. If I haven't got to the search yet, trust me, I got it wrote down and we're going to get to it. So thanks for watching. Be sure to ring that little bell. You'll stay notified. And I don't know, might have been blowing up on the notifications for this marathon because every video probably got like 13, 14 notifications. So you only had to watch the ones you wanted to. Thanks a lot, everybody. Appreciate it. Have a good Black Friday. We'll see y'all probably like Monday if we don't come back with another episode here after this one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.